I'm a big podcast person. I have these AirPods because I'm rich. I am not at all rich. And I always have these AirPods in my ears as I'm working out, as I'm driving, as I'm cooking, as I'm doing the dishes, as I'm folding my laundry. When they're in my ears, I'm always listening to podcasts. I listen to true crime podcasts, sports podcasts, comedy podcasts, Catholic podcasts, cooking podcasts, and historical podcasts. I love podcasts. They're great. I think they're a great way to expand my mind. Yesterday, as I was cooking dinner, I stumbled upon this really cool podcast that I wanna tell you about. podcast that I want to tell you about is called The Apology Line. And The Apology Line tells the true story. It's, like, it's literally a true story. I had to look it up. Of this concept artist in the 80s in New York City who had this crazy idea. He set up a voicemail machine called The Apology Line. And then he papered New York City with these flyers. The flyer said, hey you, all of you reading this, no matter who you are, you've all done something wrong. Maybe you're a legit criminal or maybe you're just an average person. Call Call this number and confess and apologize for what you've done. The flyer literally said, get your misdeeds off your chest. So people would see this flyer, they would see this number, then they would go to a payphone and they would anonymously call without leaving their name, without any descriptions of themselves and leave a voicemail to the apology line confessing to whatever they've done. And people did this, people called for years. Hundreds of people called this apology line and confessed. They confessed to lighter crimes like rudeness, lying, judgment, jealousy, cheating on tests, shoplifting. But then people also confessed to more intense crimes too, like racism, violence, even murder. They willingly confessed it all. Why? Why did they do this? Because these people felt burdened by their actions. They wanted to be free. And these hundreds of people who called throughout the years, they were every different kind of person. They weren't necessarily Christian. I mean, maybe some of them might be, I don't know. But probably a lot of them were not. Probably some of them were atheists or Jewish or Buddhist or Muslim or anything in between. I'm sure a lot of them thought religion was stupid. Maybe didn't even believe in evil or morality at all. Yet these people who called this apology line were practicing a Christian concept. They didn't know it. They didn't realize it. They would probably even deny doing it. But these hundreds of people were attempting to practice the central Christian sacramental tradition of confession. St. Paul writes in his letter to the Romans, all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. We're all sinners, all of us. Whether we're Christian, whether we're not, whether we're anywhere in between, all of us are sinners in little ways, but also maybe in some more intense ways. All of us have rejected the love and the laws of God. All of us have intended intentionally wounded other people have wounded ourselves. And all this sin builds up and weighs us down. And all of us, we walk around carrying this sin, carrying this shame, carrying this cross. Charles Dickens in his famous work, The Christmas Carol, describes the wrongdoings of men as chains around our backs, around our arms, around our necks, suffocating us. All of us are sinners and our sins are heavy and they weigh us down. And God does not want us to live this way. We read in scripture that God wants us to have abundant life. God doesn't want us chained and imprisoned. He doesn't want us to die on the cross of our sin and our shame, so he does it for us. Jesus dies in our place. He takes on the suffocating weight of all of our sins and he dies on the cross for us. And then he rises again. Why does he do this? So we can be free of our sin. God wants us to be free, so he offers us the gift of freedom. He offers us his mercy. He offers us his forgiveness through the sacrament of confession. Confession or reconciliation it's one of the seven sacraments in the Catholic faith. Sacraments are supernatural encounters with the divine God. And through this encounter, God offers us grace. Like grace to begin a new life through the sacrament of baptism. Or grace to enter into the fullness of your vocation through the sacrament of marriage or holy orders. Or the grace to transition into the next life through the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. The sacrament of confession also offers us grace, the grace for conversion, the grace to reject the lies of the enemy and all his empty promises, the grace to turn away from sin and temptation and instead choose the abundant life that God has called us to. St. Paul also writes in his letter to the Galatians, for freedom, Christ has set 
us free. God wants our freedom and we want to be free too. We all desire freedom, a fresh chance, a new start, the ability to shed the skin of our previous decisions, our previous behaviors. All of us want this. And this is why the apology line that started in the 80s was so popular and why there's now a podcast in 2021 talking about this phenomenon. These hundreds, maybe even thousands of people called the apology line and anonymously confessed their sins to a voicemail. Their souls were aching to be set free. They didn't want to be judged. They didn't want to be condemned. They didn't want to be shamed or discovered or publicly humiliated. They just wanted to be forgiven. But calling a phone line can't do that. But you know what can? The sacrament of confession. Where you won't be judged, where you won't be discovered or publicly humiliated. The sacrament is totally anonymous. You can even confess your sins behind this thick old screen so the priest can't even see your face. Where you can unburden yourself to the God who cares for you so deeply where you can receive true mercy, true healing, and the grace to convert, to repent of your sins, to make retribution for the wrong that you've done, and to truly be forgiven. I want to print out all these old apology line flyers and put them all over my town and cross out this random New York number and instead put the number of my local parish priest. And one of his only jobs in his entire life is to hear the confession of your sins and to offer the forgiveness of God. I really want to encourage you, go to confession. It doesn't matter if it's been a month or 25 years. We're all sinners. Go to your parish website, find their confession times. Right now, I'm in California with the strictest lockdowns and they're still having confessions. Priests are meeting outside in the parking lot, standing six feet away and with masks on. Go to confession, unburden yourself. Be set free. Receive the forgiveness that only God can offer you through the sacrament of confession.